Greetings fellow makers, I'm Brittany Duran from Punished Props. On this episode, I'll show you how I modified some secondhand store purchases to complete my Star Wars costume. Stores that sell used clothing and home goods are great resources for cosplay. The clothing can be very affordable, especially if there's a special sale going on. You can even find curtains and tablecloths that could work for different fabrics. Some stores even have yarn. If you're looking for elastic, snap, or strap attachments, the belts, purses, and backpacks are great resources. Sometimes there's good footwear as well, although you'll want to purchase new insoles to make sure your shoes are comfortable. We always love checking out the toy section to see if there's any potential space gun parts and other prop pieces. I picked up a few pieces for my Star Wars style costume, starting with this vest. In the Star Wars universe, they don't like showing buttons or zippers. Rivets, belt clips, and snaps are just fine, but these buttons have to go. The vest came with a fabric belt, which I'll use to cover the buttonholes. It's not necessary, but having sewing helpers makes the experience much more entertaining. I'm still learning the basics of sewing, but there's a lot of great video tutorials out there if you're just getting started. I like to use little clips to hold my sewing materials instead of pins where I can. It's faster for me and holds thicker materials together. All my modifications are done with a straight stitch using whatever color thread I have that matches close enough to the fabric. It's pretty amazing how just removing the buttons makes the vest more Star Wars style. I also got a light gray undershirt from the thrift store. I picked this shirt because of the collar shape and the interesting stitching, but these pesky buttons need to be removed. While the shirt was still buttoned, I did check to make sure I could still slip the shirt on and off, since I'll be sewing the front closed permanently. My sewing helpers held the shirt in place for me while I added the pins. By overlapping the back of the buttonholes, I don't need to take the shirt in and cut away any fabric. If you look closely, you can still see where the buttons were attached, but I was fine with that. Keeping a collection of belts is always good to have around for costumes. One of the belts was already distressed, so my helper weathered the other belts to match. This is going to be the belt strap for my gun holster. I overlapped two belts and hand stitched them in place, just for a slightly different look than a standard belt. It seems like that's a lot of what Star Wars style clothing is like, all slightly modified from what we normally wear. I've picked up this pouch from an Army and Navy secondhand store a few years ago. It's normally for a water canteen, but this one will hold my cell phone. Army and Navy used surplus stores are great for Star Wars clothing, since the movies sometimes modify existing military pieces for the costumes. I cut off a metal belt attachment and stitched the piece onto my gun holster belt. I want this strap to sit low on my hips, but the strap isn't quite long enough. I extended the length by cutting the strap and creating Velcro extensions that will attach straight to the pouch. This allows me some extra length adjustments, but I think I'll create a better attachment system later. Also, I'm not going overboard with the hand stitching and making everything super secure. I'm trying to assemble this prototype pretty quickly and loose stitching will help make it easier to cut the pieces apart and reassemble them differently if I need to. I fell in love with this soft leather purse at the secondhand store. The little pocket is super cute and I got the idea to try and turn this purse into a gun holster. The stitching for the top piece of the purse got cut away with a seam ripper. I stitched this piece onto my belt loop. Star Wars likes to hide their zippers, so I cut away that portion of the pouch. I kept the interior lining and cut a hole for the gun barrel. My gun isn't fully painted in this video since I was working on both projects at the same time. 
I've heard that some gun holsters use thermoplastics to keep the correct gun shape, so I thought I'd give that a try. I cut off a section of black warbler and used a heat gun to soften the plastic. The plastic got loosely formed over the holster. I didn't want it to be super snug since this gun has a ton of overhangs. Once the black warbler cools back down, it keeps the new shape and can be slipped in between the leather and the lining. I also started using the purse straps for attachments that keep the holster in place on my leg. More loose stitching got added and extra straps helped cover the connection points to make it look a little bit nicer. A strap is hooked onto the back of the belt and another strap gets looped around the leg. I have one more decorative attachment that I still have to figure out what I want to do with it. The gun holster belt will get looped onto the pants belt to keep everything in place. Speaking of the pants, I used Carhartt work pants for my costume, which was easily the most expensive purchase since I bought them new. They were on sale for $45 when I ordered them on Amazon, and I can use them as work pants in the shop. I like the pockets, the rivet-like embellishments, and the straight legs, which will fit inside my tall boots. The bracer that I made in a previous video gets strapped on over a sweater sleeve thing. I used this sleeve for a steampunk costume years ago. So far, that is my whole Star Wars costume. I want to add more fun attachments later on, like some pockets or maybe a belt buckle cover, perhaps some shoulder armor to match my bracer. That's the fun part about creating a new character inside an existing universe. I can keep adding and changing parts over time. I've accomplished my goal of creating a casual, comfortable costume to wear at conventions. It was also a lot of fun modifying existing clothing and accessories to fit into the Star Wars universe. I hope this build encourages you to try some secondhand store purchase modifications and to look at found objects in a different light, maybe add a belt or a pouch to your costume. Not to mention the toy aisle where you can find so many cool parts for little greeblies on your costume or blaster modifications. If you'd like to see how I made my blaster or my EVA foam gauntlet, I have videos for those. I'll link them down below. And let me know in the comments if you found any cool stuff from secondhand stores to incorporate into your costumes. Now I'm off to clean up the mess that my sewing helpers left behind. Take care and have fun making. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe so you don't miss any of our new weekly prop and costume tutorial videos. For more goodies, head over to our website where you'll find blueprints, tutorial books, articles, and more. We also have a second channel for our Q&A show and extra behind the scenes videos. Thanks again and happy crafting.